Today we gathered for the final product presentation session. Three teams uh, made four presentation, sharing their insights into potential development cooperation projects and they delved into ethical issues related to generative AI. So, uh, what makes Craft special? Uh, firstly, it addresses real-world problems. Although our curriculum emphasizes the importance of analytic skills and academic rigor, but we also recognize student desire for tackling real-world issues. So, in this Craft program, students are encouraged to find uh, their own topics that are meaningful to our world and find solution to the problem. Craft is a student-led program where you have freedom to choose your own topic. You have also uh, freedom to choose between research or academic purpose. Uh, this kind of flexibility and autonomy motivated me the most to participate in this program. Our project is about business proposal uh, for combined solar and agriculture project development in Uganda. We named it as Project Gaia. It is a combined uh, business of agriculture and solar uh, PV. We all know climate change is the biggest um, problem we all face, um, especially in developing countries. There are not enough money to fund in renewable energy especially. So our project focuses more on Uganda. By doing so, we hope to reduce carbon emission and also um, proliferate um, renewable energy in rural areas of Uganda. Uh, we've learned that international development involves a holistic approach to consider many stakeholders. So not only focusing on the uh, financial area, we've uh, considered a lot of dimensions to make this project sustainable. Um, basically, um, in Africa, there's not enough data or information regarding renewable energy project. We try to find um, data from African Development Bank and other institutions but it's not enough. We, by using Google Map and also basically OD program, need to be requested by um, beneficiary country, not by Korea or other developed country. So without request, our project just, in, just stop here. Yeah, it is also biggest hurdle. Since one of our teammates is working in the Ministry of Trade in Uganda, we're finding out the way uh, to contact the local government, find out if they need uh, some kind of renewable energy like Project Gaia and if granted, we're planning to apply for the uh, ODA program that would uh, give us funding source to facilitate our project into practice. So that is our plan. So I'm a government official working for Nepal and Nepal has different challenges. Among those challenges, the transport issue is the one that is hindering the development of the country because of its terrain uh, we are having a lot of problems i came to meet the members who have similar interest on the transport issues explore how advanced mo air mobility can help developing countries where there is challenging situation like difficult terrain this was like uh, related to my country and also the issue at the hand that's why I was highly motivated to work with this group and find out the solution for the country. We got a chance to visit Korea Drone Show 2024 because our project was related to advanced air mobility. So we visited a lot of like technology related to the drones and many other technology. And we went to the site and get a lot of information. So I think during this project, uh, witnessing the Korea Drone Show 2024 was the most memorable part of our journey. We make the, our team's goal. Uh, first goal is uh, uh, study, deeply study about uh, ODA business related with uh, air transportation and logistics. And then uh, our detail, we set detailed goal that is uh, uh, making PCP for Indonesia and Nepal. We want find what is a good and e efficient way to establish their infrastructure. After this project, uh, we find a solution. Yeah, advanced air mobility can be a solution. Yet there are a lot of hurdles, but if the government can coordinate and cooperate with the international agencies and countries like advanced countries like Korea, yeah, the government can take the benefits of this 
kind of technologies and really improve the transport sector. I think it's like an uh, engineer thinking about technical, but when I join in this uh, program, I can think how to make a root cause uh, thinking like uh, policy makers and how to give alternative solution based on policy recommendation is more imp important. KDI School will continue to redefine the meaning of learning and make concrete uh, contribution to our society. So stay with us because we will endeavor to make this program even better and encourage more students to participate in this initiative. <laughs>